Hello again YouTube, it's Skylar. Welcome back to my face. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about labels. Now, I'm not talking about the kind that are on your prime rib steak at the grocery store. What I'm discussing is the kind that people and individuals place on others as a way of helping themselves to identify that person and how they relate to the world. Now, in most cases, this isn't always necessarily a bad thing. However, the problem runs into when people make assumptions based on a label that may not necessarily always be true. And this is because over thousands of years of evolution, humans have gotten really good at creating shortcuts to help them quickly understand information within a shorter period of time to better recognize the situation. So in modern day society, where we do not have dangers that require immediate assumption, such as a lion eating you, we tend to often fall back onto these primitive thought patterns as a way of identifying a person and then therefore attributing attributes to that individual that may or may not always be true. Now I say that this isn't always necessarily a bad thing because there are certain things that you want to look out for. For example, having the ability to recognize a sleazy car salesman is probably a good idea. That's, that's probably a good assumption to make if you're trying to watch out for predatory loaners or other people that may be trying to scam you. The problem comes in when you make base assumptions on a wider array of people, such as whole communities. In particular, the LGBT community is fraught with misassumptions and labels that often don't always conform to how that person lives their life or certain things about them. Now, I myself am a transgender woman, which means that I transition from male to female. And while there are some assumptions that people can make about me that are true, there are a lot that people make that are also incorrect. And this comes from the understanding of the little information that people know about trans women and their transition. And so they tend to apply broad categories as a way of a shortcut to understanding something without asking the person or fully understanding the situation. And this can be problematic because people will make judgments before they even get to know a person. And this can apply to any range of communities out there, whether it be people of different faith, or people of different ethnic backgrounds, or immigrants, or what name you, or even generational differences. People make biased assumptions based on what they perceive first. And again, that's not always an incorrect thing to do because there are obviously similarities between different groups of people. But identifying that certain group as having particular attributes that are always the same can be a little bit dangerous when they become too specific. So for example, let's say someone had never met me before. They don't know my name, they don't know anything about me. When they approach me, the only information that they're presented with is that I'm obviously a transgender woman. So naturally, their brain is going to make shortcuts and biases subconsciously without them realizing it about things about me that may not be true. And it's important that we recognize those things and take a step back and say, well, wait a minute. Now I'm using biases against someone that I don't even know. Maybe I should not jump to conclusions before I even get to know this person. And that's the whole point of this video is that you shouldn't jump to conclusions based on who you're talking to or who you are presenting to or who you see in society because more often than not, those broad assumptions will be incorrect rather than true. 
So if you are watching this video and you are a trans person yourself, my recommendation is don't be too harsh on people who make assumptions about other trans people because maybe their understanding or education on the subject is limited, so they have limited information to base their information off of. They don't have enough education about the subject to make an unbiased opinion about a certain group of people. And so I always take this opportunity to let them get to know me a little bit better so that they can just naturally see that I'm just as everybody else. I'm just a normal person that does normal everyday person things. And if you are a cisgender person and you are having difficulty relating to or maybe understanding the struggles and challenges of what a transgender person might go through, reach out to them. I mean, they're just normal people and they're, they're nothing to be afraid of or the assumption I've heard a lot is that they don't know how to relate. They don't know what they should say to a transgender person. And my advice on that is just ask them and talk to them in ways that you would talk to any other person. It's not as if we're some special category species of human. It's just exactly the same as everybody else. So if you're having difficulty relating to a trans person because you might be af afraid that you might say something that's offensive to them, then simply ask them non-threatening questions that have nothing to do with the fact that they're transgender. And you'll quickly find out that they probably have a lot more in common with you than you may have previously realized. And this goes for, again, all groups of people. If you are having trouble relating to someone of a different faith, maybe reach out to someone in that community. Maybe, you know, congregate with them one day just as a experimentation or reach out to an immigrant or someone of a different background or, you know, someone of a different age category, generational divide, and just talk. Just try to relate to them on basic things that obviously everyone has in common. And you will quickly find out that there are a lot more similarities between all of us than there are differences. And breaking the ice in that way opens up the dialogue to ask those more serious questions that you may want to know more about that person on a personal level. And if you build that rapport, they'll feel a lot more comfortable educating and informing someone about things that the other person may not fully understand yet. So I hope that video was helpful and informative for all of you. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. You guys help me out so, so much. I'm also planning on doing a Q&A session pretty soon, so if you want to ask me a question, please leave a comment below. And until tomorrow's video, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you all tomorrow in the next video. Bye!